Three. Let's examine the different parts of the serve. Let's look at the alignment. Your back should be straight. Upon impact, you should be able to draw a straight line through the shot. This looks okay here, but notice the legs are apart. It's kind of halfway between a pinpoint serve where your feet are together and a platform serve where serve is apart. We need to have both feet together and pushing off into the court. By having it slightly apart like this, it's hard to have your feet the same way every time. Now as it pushes up in the shot here, the shoulders are opening a little early. They're in line with the hips, but that hand positioning of the racket, the racket should be straight above you. It should be like an extension of your hand. And that'd be a more natural swing on the shot. So the shoulders opening early, He's not reaching up as straight as possible on this shot here. And you really want to have that happen. The follow through is okay. But notice this view from the side on this person here. Look at this alignment, right? The perfect alignment, but look how far in he gets. He's reaching up. The racket's in line with his arm. And he's trying to get up as high as possible into the court. But notice where he also lands. So we need to have our serve to be better you need to have yourself reaching up in the shot and keep maintaining the alignment as much as possible. By using the grid, it's also possible to see where every parts are in relation to each other. We have good compression and load here. The hips are turned, the knees are bent. I think he could get a little bit more shoulder turn to show his back to his opponent. And that way when you rotate out the shot, coming from the legs up, you'll have more of a corkscrew motion and you'll have more moving parts adding into the serve. The hip and shoulders are in line here. There's good lag. He's pushing off, but he's not pushing off with both legs. It seems like he's pushing off more with his left leg than his right leg. You really want to have both legs push off into the shot and get good lean into the court. We have good lag here. He has good head positioning at the ball. And the left foot landing is fine, but look how far in the court he is. He's not far into the court at all. He is just like on the line and we really want to get that body weight and the momentum coming into the court and so by having these items happen you get more po serve power. Service power is generated by speeding the racket head up, getting your body weight into the court and being a straight line on impact. Keep it fluid. Dane keeps it really fluid right here. Very smooth. Now where is the impact point in relation to the court? Or in relation to you and everyone likes the clock so we have a compass here and what I like about this is it just kind of shows your alignment and shows where your racket is on impact it should be really more over to about 12 31 o'clock and that racket should be in line with your hand it should be directly vertical also his body is leaning slightly to the left by using the compass you can plainly see he's leaning to the left Whatever way you're serving is the way you should be sending your body into the court. If you're serving down the middle, your body should be straight down the middle. If you're serving wide, it should be side to wide. Side views are very important because by using the side view, we can see how far in he gets. And you can see it right there. This lack of movement into the court is really a disadvantage. For every step in the court, you're actually serving 10 miles an hour faster. By landing right there, you're really shortchanging yourself. You can make impact with the ball above the court and then land inside the court. And it will not be a football as long as you don't touch the court. It's only a football if you touch the court before you make impact with the ball. So if you're airborne and you make impact with the ball, it's not a football. Notice this pro, he's going to jump into the court. See how far he is in the court? That is almost a meter. That is a significant advantage on your serve being that much closer to your opponent, getting a good lean into the court, getting your body weight into the court, getting the momentum and the rotation into the court are all keys to a very powerful serve. 
So now when you look at this serve here, the tip we're going to give you is to toss your ball farther in so you can lean into the court. He's getting a pretty good lean here. We like that, but he's not very airborne. His legs aren't together. Not pushing off with both legs. You really want to push off with both legs to maximize your power. If you push off with only one leg, what's going to happen is you're going to weaken that leg as the match progresses. By pushing off both legs, you maximize the ability to sustain it long term. Here's a line to show you what's going on here. Is he getting a good lean into the court? And we want to improve this lean right here. Not bad lean here, but what's going to happen as he makes impact in the court? You want to have this lean, your weight in your back foot, pretend to be falling into the court, then push off at the angle into the court. He reaches up very nicely right here, and notice the feet. The feet should be together so you can push up into the court. We got a good stretch right here, but he's not coming that far into the court. To improve it, we recommend tossing the ball further into the court and landing further in the court. We'll add another line right there. So you see the shoulders and the lean. And what you want to do is remember it's a rotation. You want to have your shoulders rotate around your head like it's a top. By having your shoulders rotate around your head like it's a top and getting a good lean into the court, your body weight coming forward, you're maximizing your serve. Notice the hips too are in line with the shoulders. Now here, we could move the hip into the court and keep yourself a little bit straighter, you probably get even more power. This slight lean here prevents your hips from transferring weight into the court. This, this makes your weight go backward. You do get a good snap though, so it benefits your serve. However, to further improve your serve, you should lean into the court and get a solid straight line going. We do like the way he's reaching up for the ball though. Let's take a look at Peter serving. We'll compare it to the pro and then we'll put it together in a split screen later. Okay. He's got a good load here. He's got his knee, he's got expression coming right here. But we need more push off with both legs. We want more of a shoulder turn, shoulder his back to his opponent. That way you guarantee that upon swinging, you have a good twist of the torso. We want him also to land further into the court. This is the foundation of all serves. Every serve has these things going. Watch him rotate his shoulders right there, show his back to his opponent. Good compression. And then. He's going to jump up into the court, right? But see the alignment right there. Straight up, racket set, back behind the court. But notice where he's behind the line. Let's see where he ends up after he starts to strike the serve. This person is also tall and lanky. Normally when you serve, your serve is a function of your height. Notice how far in he is on the court. And a good rotation of the shoulders around his head like a top. We're not getting that lean in. Peter's good about doing this. He loads like this, but notice as this server goes into his motion, he's going to push off of both legs right here and explode into the court. This is a change we need to implement to make his serve better. Also, this is called a hurdler move, where you land with your left foot and the right leg kicks up like a hurdler, kind of balances out your torso. Peter does that slightly. Now we'll go to split screen. You can see how far in he gets and compare it. We superimpose it. The ghost image is good because it also shows Peter how far in he gets. And when you release the ball, notice the load positioning, right? Peter has a much faster swing. Our pro in white is very relaxed. The ball is going up. He's getting set. He's compressing. Then he's going to explode the shot. Peter throws it a little lower, so perhaps a higher toss further into the court, allowing us more time to load and then unload. And there, going into the motion right there. The ghost images really help to show and illustrate the difference in the, the prep position and the contact positions. We inverted our pro, that's why he's serving lefty, and we gridded him. 
for reference. See how far in he is? There's a lean in of the pro and the white. Look how he leans in the court almost a half meter and he lands a meter in. Watch Peter lean in. Does Peter lean in in the red? Leans in slightly, but he's more behind the line than he is into the court. Our pro in white will lean in and he'll be hovering over the line and already slightly into the court. As they explode into the shot, right, our pro is still leaning in, then he explodes into the court, and his impact point is a good meter and a half inside the court. And that's what we want to see for both persons. And we want to see a good step in the court also. That's going to be one of the biggest keys to improving this serve. What we like to do is we like to do a follow-up. So we want to have a video present, do the analysis, Try to execute cage and then have you follow up and give us another video after you've seen our suggestions and our video. Here is Peter now, after he's seen our video, implementing the changes that we talked about. He is having some small issues, but that's what the good thing is. You must be willing to take a step back so you can take two steps forward. Changing your serve is a very difficult thing to do, but making any kind of change and evolving your game is very important. For further analysis, we can use just phone video, as we have here. There's a slight foot fault, so we need to address that. To correct this, Peter's going to have to keep his left foot still. If the left foot doesn't move, there will be no foot fault. We grid it to show you what's happening also. Notice the improvement on how far in the court he is. He got a better lean into the court already. Of course, he is both bombing, but that's that's besides the point. And with the, by getting that further lean to the court, about half a meter, and then jumping into court, you add so much more pace to your serve. Right there, that is a huge difference from prior. He's got a great jump in the court. He's leaning in, and he's making impact about two meters further in than he did previously. And that is huge. When you make impact with a serve one step into the court, you're going about 10 miles an hour faster. You make uh, impact two steps into the court, it might be 20 miles an hour faster because you're closer to your opponent. You're taking away your time. We put the line to see the alignment and if he's getting a good lean. Got a good lean going. And then he's going to push off. Now the question is, is he pushing off with both legs? And what you can see whenever you have video, it's important. See football. He sells small flaws that you might not feel when you just do it on your own. So is he getting a good push off with both legs? Still looks like he's pushing off with only one leg. He could get a deeper compression and a higher jump into the court and a more forceful landing on the left leg and going to the hurdler position with the right leg. Toss looks good. Could compress a little lower right there. The shoulders and the lean are, are much improved from prior. We would just like a little bit more back turn, show your point your back so you get a little more torso turn, so that will improve your uh, ability to challenge force into the ball. And a good lean into the shot right there. That is huge. That is so much better than that prior prior. So we need to continue that, add in pushing off with both legs, and then add in landing to the court lean further in if possible. Note, if you land like that in singles, you must have a step back. We'll also include these overview shots where you can take a look at your serve photo by photo and you can really see what's going on in the different aspects of the serve. 